everyone, this is Angelina of Divine Hustles and today I'm here with... Hi, I'm Lucas, Lucas Brown. I'm a 3-0 amateur MMA fighter. And if you want to stick around for to get to know me, uh, here we are. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, so I didn't see that. <laughs> That's for you. All right, it's yeah. gonna be the first time you actually go. use one. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I am an artist, and this is what I use to clean my brushes. You know, like typically people use like rags and stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, being a girl oh. and being that I use these, <laughs> I was that's, like, why not use it to paint? That's pretty new. But I'm gonna have you like paint your future. My what? Your future. All right. All right. <laughs> I was never the best painter. That's okay. <laughs> That's why we're here, okay? So if you could, just paint your future. What would you like to see for your personal growth in general? Um, just to grow as, grow as a person, grow as a fighter. Just, you know, trying to make my dreams come true. Hey, has that always been like the childhood dream? Yeah, actually, yeah. Since really? I was younger, yeah. Did you grow up like watching UFC? And yeah, all that? yeah, with my uh, grandfather. Yeah, he he's the one that, like got me into it, like showing what martial arts was. And then as I got older, I wanted to. I want to do it since I was like nine years old, but I didn't get to until like fourteen. So why? Because uh, my, my mom and stuff. Uh, didn't really she's like, like me. be careful, you know. <laughs> Who is like your inspiration? Like you uh, seen them on TV and you're like, oh my god, I want to do that. Uh, like uh, Conor McGregor for sure. Like he just, I don't know, the way he, his style was, the way he'll talk, it just inspired me to just want to be like him. All right, all right. So where are you from? How did it all start? So I was I was born in Paramount, and then at a young age I moved with my grandmother in Lakewood, mm -hmm. and as time went by, I moved back with my mother, and then we moved to Downey, and I was about in. I don't know what year, but I was like nine years old, eight years old. And then just from there on, I've been in that city, going to school, um, trying to wrestle. And then I got into striking when I was about 14. So, you know, that that was like the, like, um, the eye opener that, yeah, okay, I didn't really want to do it. Mm -hmm. And then when COVID happened, I didn't train for a while. And then when I turned 16, when everything started opening up again, and then since then I've just been training. Non-stop? Yeah, non-stop. Just been trying to get as good as I could be. Yeah, I mean, I've seen your stuff. You got some power, dude, <laughs> for being... You, you didn't even disclose you. your weight class. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably at 135. Yeah, you any points in your time where you were like, I don't want to do this anymore? Uh, no, not really, because I've always seen, like, the great fighters say that, yeah, you, like, sometimes in the gym you get beat up or something, mm -hmm. like, that makes you think about, like, do you, is this really for you? But I've always felt like... Uh, it was for me. I felt like, um, uh, you know, I like to praise God a lot that he's put me on this earth to be an MMA fighter. Mm -hmm. So I just felt like... You know that's your purpose? Yeah, I feel like that's my purpose, yeah. Wow. And you're so young, too. What drove you to want to become that, though? Like, what inside you, besides Conor McGregor and, like, watching <laughs> with your, like... No, just, I've always felt like... I just always found fantasy to like just fighting and mixed martial arts and then plus I always thought of it as like like if you know how to fight and then you get your body like in good shape that is basically like a superpower. Superpower. Like that's the closest thing you can have to a superpower. So yeah it was, it was an experience. So you're trying to be like Superman? Yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to have a nickname what would it be? Like when you do go pro? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I you never really know? thought of it. I always said that I'll let it like come, like whatever anyone says. I'll, like, like, you, like how you earn a nickname. Like you should earn a nickname. So that's what I'm really just going for. What do you think it's gonna be? What do you think you're gonna be known for? Uh, I'm just gonna be known for just, <laughs> just fighting and knocking people out, submitting them, try to uh, do as many first round finishes as I can. Okay. So just kind of get in there and get out of there as quick as possible so I can go eat. So you can go eat? <laughs> that must suck too. People don't know like the insight of what it's like to make weight. Yeah. It's, You're cutting weight right now, right? Yeah, right now, yeah. 
it's not the best, but it's it's cool. If you do it the right way, it's not as bad. How are you doing right now? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. my past two fights. I've done good, but my first one was pretty bad. I did it like completely wrong. I was like 160, trying to cut to like 135 with like in a month, and it didn't go too good. Did you make weight? Yeah, I made weight, but like the day of my fight, I had to lose like three pounds, and and I was already dehydrated and stuff, so it wasn't really the best feeling. Mm -hmm. I just always been so focused, like just with fighting and stuff. I never really. That's just like been your 24/7. Yeah, for a while now. So it's just that's all I really do. I don't really go out. I don't go to parties. I don't really let go of my old friends from high school anymore. Cause that's just what I've been focused on, really. So. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that too. That's a sacrifice in itself. You don't have a social life, and I don't mean it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't mean it. I don't mean it in like a bad way. I just mean it like you're so focused and determined. There really isn't time for that because that's the only dream that you're focusing yeah. on. You know. Yeah. Did that ever make you upset? Cause it's kind of like not robbed you of your childhood, but. No, not really. I did it a little bit while I was like 15 and 16, mm -hmm. but then um, just after a while, like I had like a wake up call and it, uh, it just made me like focus more and just leave it all behind. What was I got your to wake enjoy up it. Call? Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, okay. It's a pretty uh, it's okay, sure. story that you know I don't like to talk about, but I'll okay. talk about it. I'll talk about it. Uh -huh. So I, me and friends from high school, we uh, we went to this party in Whittier, mm -hmm. and um, you know we're just trying to have fun, and, you know, just be kids, I guess, and you know a little uh, uh, commotion happened outside of the party. And all my friends, and, I, and they called me to go outside. And when I went outside, um, they were all fighting with, I guess, some other group. Mm -hmm. And when uh, when I went, I, like, oh, like you know, just a lot of fighting was going on. And then after the fight, um, three of my friends uh, got shot. So, but they they all survived though. So thank God for that one. And I don't know. Just after that, I just like kind of like gave me a wake up call because you know I felt like that could have been me. So if I would have got shot, I just felt like, I don't know, something could have, well, my career, that's what I thought about, like, with fighting. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just uh, talked to myself and just told myself that I was going to not, like, be involved in stuff like that no more. Just focus on what I'm doing and, yeah, just try to uh, <laughs> just stay focused. Don't let no distractions happen. Now I feel bad for letting my inner journalist <laughs> press you like that. No, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no. Um, if you were to give advice to like people who are trying to do what you do, what would you say? Just chase your dreams, you know. Just shut out all the negativity and doubters that um, doubt you because no one knows what you do. No one sees you in the gym grinding. No one sees those lonely nights when you're running on the, you know, the street, like well, or uh, uh, or they call it treadmills. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the name. And just. Just keep going, don't don't give up. You're only a quitter if you give up. And even if you have setbacks, just, yeah, you could fall down, but just get back up. That's what matters. Don't, um, don't lose focus, sacrifice for your goals. That's one thing you have to do, sacrifice. Like, just be loyal to your dream. Like, you, like Henry Cejudo said, uh, he, I don't know if you heard it, but he would mm -hmm. say like, even if like you're not loyal to yourself, just be loyal to your dream. Like you don't have to be loyal on anything else, but want your dream to make it, you have to be loyal to it. And so that's what I've just been doing these past few years. Well, something that you do want to see, that you're working hard towards, besides becoming a champ. Mm -hmm. Like what I want to see for myself. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean, of course, just to be a better person, as, as be best as I can, because honestly, I don't really see nothing else other than, you know, fighting and being a champion, because that's what I train every day and just sacrifice everything for, but I, I, I could be a better person, like, I could try, like, like uh, John Jones said, like, you're either like a good guy trying to be bad or a bad guy trying to be good, and I just feel like, you know, you could be, a, I'm like a bad guy trying to be good, like, I just want to be a better person. You really are just about mixed martial arts. Yeah, honestly. Like, Everything that, that's you said honestly is... what I put my whole like life around. Like I, like with sports, I don't really watch like a lot of sports. Like I can't sit and watch like a full basketball or a full football game or something. Do you watch TV? Yeah, I watch you TV. Do? Yeah, I watch TV, but like uh, barely anymore. 
because since I train so much, I this is my like really my routine like throughout the week. I get up and like at nine, I pray, I meditate, and then I go to the gym at 10, 10:30, and I get home like around 11, uh, 12:30, and I take a nap, and I get up, I eat, and then I either watch TV or play the game for a bit, and then I go train again at night, and then I just go to bed like a few hours after that. And I just do that every day. How do you stay consistent? Uh, after you do it for a while, like it just it's easy. It gets easier, but so, but getting up in the morning is like the hardest part, though. Like when you get up, waking up early. It, getting up early <laughs> and then having to force yourself up. And like my coach says, like the days you you don't want to go to the gym and you get up and go, the days you get better. So that's why I just I just try to like just keep that mentality because it sucks like when you're going to the gym and you just one day just like oh, I don't want to go today I'll skip oh, I'll go another day another mm -hmm. time I'll go later but like nah you want to be the best you can do that so uh, so you like when you started training you were 14 yeah I was 14 what style you just jumped right I, into MMA or uh, I did uh, boxing and Muay Thai it's like kickboxing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say, oh, a lot okay. of, I have to say that for a lot of people that don't know what Muay Thai is. And then, yeah, and it started like that, and then, um, and just, you know, COVID happened and stuff, so, like, no gyms were open, so I, would, I was just going out, hanging out with my friends, not really training anymore. Did that mess you up? Uh, yeah, it did. It did. I wish I never really did that, but, you know, you can't change the past. You just move forward, so. And then I just... I just wanted to start training again, and then I started in my garage, just with a bag, and then I would buy little like this equipment to use, and then I'll just try to like just watch like like training on online and stuff, just to do it on my bag, and then a year later, like my uncle showed me this other gym and said he'll pay for me if I went, mm -hmm. so I was going to that for like a good year, and then after I met one of my buddies, and then. I met him on Instagram and he wanted to train. And then we started training and then he was like, do you want to come to my gym and train with us? And I was like, yeah, I'll go. And then next thing you know is I've been there ever since at Body Shop, so. Yeah, it all, it all happens for a reason. It's crazy because I seen my, my friend that I met, I seen him training at this park next to my house. Mm -hmm. Like, before his fight, he had a fight. And I was there with some friends and we were watching him. And I was like, I should go up to him and ask him like, if he wants to train or something. But I was like, I'll do it next time. Because I'll, I'll, sure I'll see him again. And then I went to my teammate's fight at the time at my other gym. And then I seen him going in the fight. And I was like, oh, that's the dude that I saw training. And then so I hit him up on Instagram to train. And this, that's all sure after that. I've just been at this gym ever since. Hmm. And I made like a family and stuff. How do you like adulting? I thought, it's, it's cool. It's, Are you sure? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's, nah it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, I don't know. So, <sighs> so you just train and make a living off of your fights? Uh, no, I work on, I work like at these like, like fair events with uh, these people called Hawaiian Honeycombs. They've, they've done a, a lot for me. They've gave me a job and helped me work and they're out of season right now, so this is the time I'm just using like, to really train mm -hmm. and to like get in, you know, in shape and stuff. But like, um, yeah, no, they're I don't. Uh, they have like this big old, uh, like their cone tastes like. Like, have you ever had honeycomb cereal? No. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's yeah. what their cone tastes like, and they put like vanilla ice cream like through it. Uh -huh. So it's pretty good, and I hate when I work with them and I'm cutting weight because I be eat, I be it? eating it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it. I you eat, eat it. it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just try to eat one, maybe two, but yeah. And um, no, they, they uh, yeah, cause um, my my uh, my teammate Jalen, mm -hmm. he uh, he's a fighter, and yeah, he got the job, and then he just you know introduced me, and then he just helped me out a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I do. I work, and the great thing is like it's on weekends, so like I train during the week, and oh. on the weekends I go with them and work, so like it all works out. Who's like your dream? Like somebody you would like want to fight? Want to fight? Uh, let's see. Um, I always said like, even though I looked up to him, I always said I like I would love to like fight him. Like I would love to fight Conor McGregor. Like I was, I don't know, it would be an honor to like be in an octagon with him. 
And Did you shirt. say to be knocked out by no, him? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll, I'll knock him out. But you? Yeah, but um, I just yeah, it'll be an honor to like share the octagon. I said octagon. I and thought we, you said knocked out. And, and, I was no, like, no, no, no. Uh -huh. it'll be an honor like to share it with them like a memory like that. But yeah, that's someone I'd like want to fight. Now it's your turn. Share some advice to people following their dreams right now. No, more advice, huh? Yeah, right. what? Wait, That's wait, how we no. ended out. Wait, if you no. need to know, no. we're wrapping it up <laughs> and I want him to share advice. Just, um, just, you know, whatever you want to do in life, just work hard, you know, don't, don't give up, don't let no one tell you uh, anything different other than, you know, what you want to do with your life. And just continue to push and thrive for what you're working for. Like, just ignore haters and doubters, that's what I do. And every time, you know, I win a fight or something, I just, I always, um, uh, like, thank my haters and doubters because they, they push me, they give me up every morning to, you know, to go to the gym. I just think about, like, like how what they will say to me, like how they will probably like, make fun of me, like, oh, you lost this fight, like, you lost. So I just continue, like, to train hard and to keep going so that won't, that won't happen. But as time goes on, I, I, I'm changing like haters and doubters like into my fans. Like they want to come to my fights and stuff. So it's it, you know it's a blessing. And it's you know from the man upstairs, he you know um, uh, has your destiny planned out for you. So that's one thing you got to think about too. Like no one controls your destiny but you and him. So just continue to just to be great, chase greatness. If you were to give advice to the youth, what would you say? Um, Even though we are the youth, <laughs> <laughs> I try your best um, to answer that one. Um, well, of course, to have fun, you know, you're just a kid, enjoy childhood, enjoy it, because, you know, once it goes away, it's never going to come back, you know. You can, like my coach says, you could buy time, but you can't, I mean, ah, you could buy a watch, but you can't buy time. So just enjoy it while it lasts, and, yeah, just, and of course, don't, you know, don't be doing dumb, stay off of the streets, don't, you know, get caught up in a life that, you know, you don't, want to have because it's not cool it's not fun honestly and of course stay in school <laughs> and, <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it and like i said chase your dreams are you ready yeah. you can go first go ahead go first go first let's see it was it was supposed to be a draw like what you want for your future or something right yeah yeah all right well i think everyone saw this one coming but it's a, a ufc belt uh, to be a ufc champ that's what i want for my future Hopefully, nah, not hopefully. I'm gonna be a double champ. Yes. So, yeah. So that's, that's what I what I try to do, try to draw. Let me see. You didn't show me. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Then what'd you draw? Ah! Okay. You guys wanna see? Ready? One, two, three. Don't show me. Can you see what it is? Like, yeah, the light. Not really. That's you, and that's a crown. Not only because, <laughs> not only because. Okay, I'm gonna get cheesy. Ready? Ready? Okay. I'm an artist, of course. I'm gonna get cheesy. So, this is our fighter here already, but he's always chasing greatness. So I figured, why do a belt when you could just do like a crown? Because it's always gonna be something solid and gold that yeah. you want in life, and you're very consistent, determined. I feel like majority of our conversation today was just about mixed martial arts, but I didn't mind it because that's your passion and the fact that you're so young and so driven and hardworking. I mean, that's admirable. So I just had to like put that crown there. And so, then it's you with your little braids. Yeah, so I'm a zombie or what's going on there? I, <laughs> <laughs> when we started, I just started grabbing colors. And then I was like, oh, green, okay. We'll do green. That's good, I like it, thank you. But sure, if you want to be the next famous UFC fighter with the zombie nickname, go ahead. What are you, Hispan yeah. you're Mexican? Yeah, I'm Mexican. Mexican zombie. African-American, yeah. Okay, Mexican-American zombie. Yeah. We have to be very strict on that. <laughs> but yeah. These are our paintings, guys. Thank you so much for... Put it up, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you for spending your time with us and watching this. If you guys want to see his future and develop into that UFC champ that he claims he is going to be, I believe he will become V, then you may want to check out his story. Continue to follow him. Continue to support him. Can you share your ads and socials? Oh, so my Instagram is uh, 562 underscore Lucas with a K. People get it confused with a C, but I put a K just because I like the way it looks. <laughs> and the same thing with my TikTok, so yeah, that's about it. All right, well, you heard it here, folks. Thank you again. Remember, be kind, support each other, and keep hustling. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.